Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. You know, this is you. This is you. You're honorable people. You're nice people. You're good people. I'm really honored to be here, happy to be here. And you're very polite. You're very welcoming. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to talk. You know that um, um, we say, this man is a man of knowledge. This man is a man of knowledge. Many of you are people of knowledge. Um, I love knowledge. And that's almost all I love. And we say, Al-ilmu aziz, in a'taytuhu kulluk, a'taka ba'da, wa in a'taytuhu ba'dak lam yu'atika shay'an. Knowledge is precious. If you give it all of yourself, it will give you part of itself. If you give it part of yourself, it won't give you anything. I mean, I love knowledge. I've loved it all my life. Right? So, if all I could do is study, I would be happy. This man would be that way. This man would be that way. Many of you would be that way. Um, but for me, knowledge is precious. And so therefore, if I have students who don't like the knowledge, very hard for me to teach. Often in the university, I had to teach students who didn't want to be taught. Uh, I won't say where that was and who they were, but especially in teaching comparative religions, I, I had a whole syllabus in Arabic. I taught in Arabic, you know, and uh, I had some Egyptian students for a while. They were good. They were writing down everything. You know, because like they have to read 30 years to get this. I didn't find, they say, what book? It's not in one, it's in a hundred books. You know, and they're writing it down. And, and they would even make notes. And they say, you could use this if you want. And then after a while, we didn't have any more Egyptians. And then we had another type of student. And that student is just like, yeah, it was that. They would even go to the department head and they say, tell him not to teach so much. You know, and get rid of this subject and that subject is too much. And they say, write it down so we can memorize it. I say, well, lie, I won't do it. Because that's all they want. They want to memorize it. And, then, and I say, even if you memorize it, I will get you. Because that's what they do. They memorize it. And then I would make certain tests, like I use true and false and, and, and multiple choice, which is the dumbest test there is. It's very easy to grade. And I would give them multiple choice, and I would give the same thing, but I change it. They said, yeah, Ustad, this is not what we memorized. I said, yeah, I know it's not what you memorized. Is it true or false? <laughs> and they just repeat what they said. And, oh, I don't know. It's like masakin, you know. They, they can't think because they weren't trained to think. Not because they're stupid, but they, they weren't trained. And uh, so with comparative religion, it's like, Cut it down. I mean, first I was teaching about Zoroastrianism, Confucianism, Buddhism, and the Egyptians loved it. Egyptians were choo, writing it down, you know. And the Yemenis too. I had Yemeni students too, you know. And then, but these other ones, Allah Yahdihim. You know, it's like, and then when they were the only students, they, they went to the head of the department and they said, just Christianity and Judaism and one other religion. And then don't use your notes, use the books that are there. So I use Hassan Bava, I use some other books like that. But, um, you know, and they want something they can memorize. You know, so it was hard for me to teach. Because, like, I love this stuff. I love it, you know. And if you don't love it, I don't think I want to teach you. Whereas if I have an Egyptian who's sitting there and, like, writing down, oh, like, we will talk and talk and talk. So thank you. Because this is the secret of the student and the teacher. You know, that um, you know, if the teacher is a real teacher and loves knowledge, you can only give a person who wants it. And if they don't want it, you don't want to give it either. Very hard to teach people that don't appreciate the value of what you're teaching. Uh, I am confused about a concept.